Luke chapter 6 verse 38 Give and it shall be given unto you Good measure, pressed down and shaken together And running over shall men give unto your bosom For with the same measure that you meet with all It shall be measured to you Thank you so much for your donations. They are greatly appreciated. God bless you and may you get a return of 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold in this day. Welcome to Religion Week TV where my spiritual ears stay. Okay, YouTube, let's go ahead and get into it. So there's a couple of things, not just 10 things, maybe a 20, 25. Let's see how many we can get through. I know there's a major thing that we all need to stop doing at this point in time, right? So let's go ahead and start with number one. Stop spending so much time on social media, right? Guys, there's a number of reasons here. One it takes you away from your family, right? It just put, put a strain. Uh, you develop more relationships and friendships online than you do with your own family, the people you live with in your house, right? Another reason, it frustrates a lot of you people. You become bitter and angry and hostile on this social media. And it makes you internet gangsters, internet thugs, keyboard gangsters, and miserable ass people. Yeah, I said it. Alright, now number two. Stop lying so damn much. Simply because Satan is your father, according to John 8 and 44. You read it yourself. Out of the mouth of the Most High God, Christ. All right? So, now, three. Stop pretending you have more than you, than you, you know, lead us on to believe you have, right? Because when your sins find you out, your lie will eventually expose you. <laughs> your, your own lies will eventually say, you know what? I was lying. Tell somebody you drive this kind of car, have this kind of uh, house, or, you know, have this much money in the bank account. Eventually, your lies will expose you, right, people? So then, stop pretending your boo bought you something for your birthday, your holidays, when you know he or she was not even there. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Stop pretending that you have gotten gifts or spent the holiday with your boo or, you know, he bought you an engagement ring or she bought you this, you know, Rolex watch or whatever, dudes. Come on, guys. Come on, gals. Let's face it, right? The lies you tell. <laughs> So maybe this may sum up to be about lies because people do tell lies, right? That's a good title, The Lies They Tell, right? So anyway, let's go on. Stop letting other people define you when what they have to say is not definite at all. Stop internalizing everything people say to you as if it's yours. You don't have to own half of the stuff people say about you, right? So, six, stop saying the devil made me do it. And he will stop making you do it, whatever it is he's making you do, shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, now it goes on to say seven. Stop pimping out your children. Because you missed your mark, your calling, and your time to shine. Let them babies be babies, yo. You know, it's not too late for you to pursue your goals and still find balance in life. Or you can raise your kids, have a social media career, and still pursue singing or dancing or cooking or whatever it is. You know, making it to the next uh, uh, great baker show or cooking show, whatever your dreams and aspirations are, there's balance. There's a way to still accomplish your goals without pimping out your children to make you the money. They 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 become your cash cow, right? So let's see. 
Stop acting like you cooked the Mrs. Smith deep dish apple pie. We all know an apple day keeps the doctor away, but a lie don't care who bakes it. How about that? <laughs> yes. I know I'm just rolling them off the top of my dome, right? All right, people. You know, some people say a lie don't care who tell it. I say a lie don't care who bake it. Some of y'all people will bring dishes to family reunions, get-togethers, take it right out the Chinese box, put it in your Tupperware, and bring it and say, Ooh, look what I cooked. <laughs> oh, people, let's get back to the basics. I remember I took Home, at home Economics 101 in like seventh grade and i've been baking and cooking from scratch and everything since then really learning how to cook pretty much every dish and yes people minister farrakhan said hell you got a big dunk of dunk you could your hair your nails your face your this everything look good but guess what you can't cook <laughs> and stop lying saying you can your children driving you out of your mind take me to Mickey D see you lazy woman you don't want to get in a damn kitchen and cook so you bring your children to these fast food places killing them and yourself because you're too damn lazy and trifling to cook again who the hell wants a woman with a good shape and a fat behind that don't know how to prepare no food for her husband and her children to hell with a woman like that your grandmother knew how to cook you know how to make a baby but don't know how to cook food You know how to shake your behind, but don't know how to rattle some eggs in a pan. But I want to let you know that a man is going to be a man. I don't give a damn. If we live or we die, we got to stand up like men. Do you hear what I'm saying? And the same goes for women. When our law gets in... All right, so... Stop bearing false witness. Tell the truth to shame the devil here, people, right? Or your lies will have you butt naked in the marketplace. Ashamed. People, let me tell you, I know some people in that Bible, and they was in that marketplace butt naked. Ashamed, people. So, I just want to go on and say, people Stop dissing your mom and your dad, and it shall go well with you. See, when you honor your parents, your days shall be lengthened. And for a lot of us in our community, we have short days, right? Let's start by honoring our parents and see how long our lives can be, right? How fruitful and how much longevity we, you know, and endurance we have in this race right because we know at the hands of the police and some other entities most black men lives don't even go past 25 30 35 65 due to heart disease and everything else they put in our community through the chemtrails and uh you know just the gmos and the pollutions and the pollutants excuse me so people be mindful be sober and vigilant in these last days right stop the hate most of all see if you stop the hate right nine times out of ten it's a hateful heart that makes you do all the other things we just talked about the lying, the stealing, the killing, the destroying, the, the taking life from people, the, the disrespect, the degrading, uh, the overboard roasting and gagging and things like that, right, people? So it's important that you stop the hate, especially within your own heart towards your own self. Once you begin to love you, then it's easier to love somebody else. Once you can love somebody else, then it becomes easier to love God. Because God says, how can you love me when you don't love your brother and sister, your mother and your father, your daughter or your son, your grandparents, your in-laws, your outlaws, whatever. We got to learn to be able to love one another. So I'm asking you to stop 
these things right here so that you can bring yourself back into awareness and full understanding and knowledge of how to be respectful how to be truthful how to be honest people all right so with that being said again what should this title be called stop doing these things stop lying stop the hate and all the rest will follow let's go on let's talk about it you know what i'm saying so leave your comments down below if you haven't already subscribe to this channel please hit that red box the notification bell icon next to it so you can be a part of the wink squad we are the wink stars and we say we lace over here that's looking at evil and ungodly things side eyed l-a-y-s-e lace looking at you side eye so guys with that being said let me just say this is religion wing tv and my spiritual ears stay yes so stop the hate and all the rest shall follow stop the lying and the truth shall prevail stop deceiving and you won't be uh, living in deception. Stop the killing and you begin to uh, see life and life more abundantly. Stop the destroying and you see the division go away. Once you stop doing these things, people, you'll see the dominion of the black man, the black people, the black race is on the rise again. Again, this is Religion Wing TV. And my spiritual ears stay. Thank you for watching. Shalom. And people, just stop it. Stop the freaking hate. Shalom.